What's up, everybody? TV Land. <laughs> Today's episode is doing an all change, a basic all change, man, on a 2019 Nissan Versa. Man, they Nissan ignorant, man. They, I, well, I can't stand Nissan, man. They, they do so much ignorant stuff on these little basic cheap cars that make you want to pick them up and throw them like they little Hot Wheels cars, man. First thing you need is old sorry basic oil filter wrench. They got that old baby oil filter on there, so hopefully this one's gonna work. But anyways, man, this little old car is teeny tiny. Oil filter right down there, man. You pop the hood up, boom, it's right there. But see, you can't get to it because these goofballs got this hose going to it, and they got the radiator holes going to it with another one. They got this wire harness, and they got this fan motor shroud, man. So, yeah, you gotta put it on the lift. And then we gotta get on the ground, because they ain't got no lift, man. You know, something this simple. Man, that's your old man. Get this stuff out of the way so you can do it standing up, man. Anybody got time for all that? Anyways, let me show y'all all the one of these. I had this thing for, man, since like 2009. It's heated, man, so. You don't burn your knuckles, the back of your hand, and your wrist when you're going down on a wild engine. I mean, it wasn't but like, I don't know, eight, thirteen dollars, but it just, you know what I'm saying? It just helps, man, you know, keep your skin looking pretty. You don't need your big oil pan, because this car will hold but like 3.9, 3.9 quarts, man, so, that's it. Can you just put your oil filter wrench on there? You're gonna turn it to the left. Hey, little drain pan. Back up top. I'm just gonna turn it. But you wanna make sure you got your oil pan right up under, directly under to catch the oil. You always wanna make sure the old ring is still connected to the old office. So anyway, the oil's still drain. I'm gonna loosen it, turn it to the left. You're gonna always turn it to the left. See, it's this black ring. You want to make sure that's on there, because if not, boy, all going to be getting slung all over the place when you put that new one on there. Oh, sorry, all filter from Rock Auto. But man, it ain't like you're drinking out of it, so it don't matter what you got on there. Change your all, see? Change your all when you're supposed to. You don't have to worry about all that. These cars ain't designed to no high-speed racing, so, you know, they don't want to sit down. A lot of people say, man, Supposed to put some oil on here so this thing don't get stuck and stay on the engine block. Man, that thing got enough oil around there. I'm not gonna do all that. But you can do it if you want to, but I'm not gonna do it. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all don't know what I'm saying. All right, so that's the new oil filter. You wanna start it by hand. It ain't supposed to be forced on there and all that foolishness, man. That thing going there real simple and easy. So you can take one finger and spin it. See that? Just spin it, and you want to hand a little bit, a little bit tight. Pass hand tight. You want to hand tighten it, but you don't want to monkey tighten it. You can just a little bit pass hand tight, because uh, they ain't gonna leak that much oil. Don't make it hard on yourself. Them shops have them gorillas tightening these things. That's why I have to use that oil filter wrench. But I do my hand tight. Tight as you can get it with your hand, man. See, y'all y'all think I be hating on these, son. But I'm gonna show you something. This is highly unnecessary. But it's right in the way, so when you try to stick your arm in there, it's in the way. The distance between here and here, here look at it. Right in the way. They got this in the way, they got that in the way, they got that in the way. And so you try to stick your arm in there, Get by the, look at that, right in the doggone way, man. They do that stuff on purpose. Man, they could have put this thing right here, right there, anywhere. But they want to put it right there just to be ignorant, man. And now you can't just easily access the oil filter to tighten it. And they got it just low enough to where your forearms, you know, the muscles on your forearms be in the way. But that's what I'm talking about, man. You can put this thing anywhere else. So what you gonna need now? 14 milli or 916. See how it's weird that they hit something like right there, right there. Out of all places, 
on the car and all the things to get. That's about it. So you're gonna put your wrench right there on that boat. Okay. Then turn towards the passenger side. All right. Loosen it by hand. I usually have a old surgical glove on. But as you loosen it, when you get pretty much the place you want to be, you want to push up on it while you loosen it. And then you'll know that the, th the threads are no longer in your way. And then keep loosening it and snatch it out. See that? Otherwise, you're going to have all, all over the place, man. So you want to push in on it. Push in while you loosen it. And then just snatch the plug out. Cross-threaded and stripped. This blue stuff is called Loctite. They put that stuff on there like they ignorant because they really don't take the plug out at most dealerships. They just stick their little holes there and then suck it out. See that? You want to get it started with your hand. It's supposed to go on there easy. This is not a difficult job of pressing. Easy, man, easy. If it ain't easy, you cross threading it. Stop, back up, take it out, put it in the right way. And we try to force it. And you just tighten it. And then you put the branch back on there and you give it some more torque. 14 milli. You wanna pull up, pull it towards the driver wheel. See, you ain't gonna Strain like you bitch pressing the wrestle hug Hogan. Just a little bit past hand tight. And that's it. Pull on it, but don't act like you're getting ready to go fight somebody. Like you mess up stuff. Look at all the oil that came out of there. That might be a little bit over a quart. See how much oil we got in here. See, it ain't even on one. They ain't even have quite oil in this car, man. And and see. So now I can't say if, if, old Nick, if this is a good or a bad car in the long run because they, they done towed the car up, man. Hot riding in it with some cheap oil. And uh, man, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. That's what people do. Like, people say, man, this is a piece of crap. I bet it is if you tore it up, you ain't putting no oil in it and you've been hot riding. And they don't tell how long they've been hot riding in it. You know? Who knows? That's how you get that old, them old cheap oil specials in your car. You know? You go over there. Tell them you want the cheap oil special. And they get to you and you don't plan on changing your oil when you're supposed to and do what you do. Tell them to put the oil back in there. Where your oil go, you're gonna find something with a thing that look like this on top of the engine. Hey, that sucker tight. Man, that's your oil, oil thing. You don't add oil nowhere else but right there. It don't look like that. Most of the time it's gonna be yeller, yeller. Take that off, put that up top somewhere so you don't lose it. And this your oil dipstick. A lot of y'all don't know how to read, but it's always more than likely gonna be shaped like a circle that O means for all. If it's shaped like a T, more than likely, that's for your transmission. Leave that alone, it's gonna be red. But most cars nowadays don't have them transmission dipsticks. So if you're looking at the dipstick, clean, it's the L, it's the H. Right here, when you put it in there, if it come right there, that's when it's full, leave it alone, don't do nothing. Right here, 
It's on the L. You're gonna add about half a quart slowly, and then put the dipstick back in and check it. Don't just start dumping oil in there. What you don't want is too much oil in there. You want some, but you don't want too much. You have other problems. The knockoff oil is burnt up and evaporates like cooking oil. Name brand motor oil don't burn up and evaporate. All right? That's basically what I'm saying. You won't be down to one quart of oil when your oil changes to because it didn't burn up and evaporate. Right back here on the back of the oil bond, it says QT quart half liter. This is a five quart jug, but this is the four and a half line. So we say a little over three, 3.9, 3 3.5. So pretty much we're going to stop pouring when it's uh, right down to a quart left in the jug. Get you a pretty decent type of oil filter, something that's going to not completely fall over, but go in there and be kind of stationary. It's kind of poor slow. You don't have to have one like this, but get you something that ain't gonna just fly for be all crazy. Right? The squid billy apple juice. Get some of them squid billy wings. What it said in the computer was 3.9. I say do 3.5 and then check and tap it up. And it's just a little bit too much. The ground is level, but it is not a, it's not too much where it's gonna hurt the car. But I would say, you know, since this is my first time doing all changes with little Nissan Versa, I'll do 3.5, man, call it a day. What my dad used to do, he used to tear the little tag off the oil filter box with the number on there. And then he'd write down the date and how many miles is on the car and you know uh, when when it's gonna be due again and put it in the glove part. you ain't gotta do all that but if you do do that you ain't gonna be up question street next time you get ready to change it off you just reach the glove department everything you need to know is in your face sucker